Charles Radcliffe Houghton's father lives in Florida but spoke to me by phone tonight. He had not heard new details released in the hundreds of pages of police reports and is frustrated by some of what he learned. Inside a Zana salon and spa, whispers of fear and frantic calls of help poured into 911 dispatchers on October 21st. Clients and employees hid from gunman Radcliffe Houghton after seeing him shoot his wife Zena and her colleagues Maylin Lind and Carrie Roebuck. We have our, our table up against the wall. I heard from another person who might have ran back inside. We need to stay in a room that's safe and that's locked. It's not locked, but we have the table up against the door. Newly released police reports reveal Houghton told a friend about his plan to kill just five days before the shooting. She's not the only one I'm going to get, he said, referring to Zena. Houghton's father was shocked to hear the details. It's very frustrating to me to know that um, these things are coming up. Radcliffe Sr. hasn't read the now completed reports and tells me he's frustrated that friend didn't report the comments. If, if something like that and somebody didn't raise the red flag, then, you know, uh, shame on them because, um, you know, when somebody threatening things like that, it's not good. That same friend told police he heard Houghton tell his father on the phone, if I had a gun, I would shoot her. But Radcliffe Sr. tells me that's not true. I didn't know um, that they were going through this real domestic problem. He only knew his son was struggling. Back in October, he told Radcliffe to come to Florida and clear his head. But he didn't uh, give me the opportunity. He said, yes, Dad, that sounds like a good idea. And that was the last time I spoke with him. Police reports indicate other family members did know about domestic issues. Houghton's brother told police he was, quote, concerned for Zena's safety for some time, but Radcliffe seemed to pull it back together and seemed to be doing okay. Radcliffe Sr. tells me his family continues to pray for all of the families affected. He also repeatedly expressed apologies for his son's actions. On your side, live in the newsroom, Keller Russell, today's TMJ4.